Hey, what's going on, everyone? I uh, wanted to share with you about why I started getting involved with the Orphans Future Alliance. So I thought that you'd be interested in this. Um, yeah, this amazing cause. So yeah. Um, so just to share with you, I'm involved with with something called the the Orphans Future Alliance, and what it is is and I'll include a link to it because I think it's interesting. Um, but about three years ago, I wasn't really in like the best state of mind. Um, you know, like I, I was like not very happy about my career and um, I was like asking for money um, because I was just like in a, in a dark place. But anyways, I started volunteering for an organization called Landmark. Um, it's a self-development program. And through that, um, the advanced course I met, Julie Tran. Well, I was, I was reignited with Julie Tran and it, it was pretty eye opening um, for me to go through that experience. But what ended up happening was um, we met through the Chinese business advisor, um, which is this networking group that was a part of like five years ago. It's been a while. And I remember um, like being just being really sad and Anyways, like after we caught up, after I saw her when I was volunteering, we had lunch. And so she shared with me her experience uh, with the Orphans Future Alliance. And it's been pretty rewarding. This year, I've raised over $6,000. Well, since my involvement, I've raised over $6,000 helping. Um, last year, we helped 56 orphans in Vietnam do a mentorship program. So I'll include a link to it so you can check it out. Um, but, uh, upon reflection, I realized that, you know, I, I didn't really have like the best childhood growing up. Like I, I still had a mother growing up and, you know, we didn't have the best relationship, but like having a mother and having that unconditional love has like greatly impacted me in, in my life and seeing unconditional love from my friends and my family and my beautiful partner as well. So um asking for help is something that's an uh, interesting thing i think a lot of us struggle with asking for help so there were there were people that was like it was easy for me to ask for help like pan and jeff and aditya who are like my close friends but this being able to ask for donations has helped me grow as a as a person um in so many ways and that freedom that freedom is actually empowering and I think what it is is just like not being as afraid of how others would perceive me because when you ask for money sometimes you view it as like oh I'm weak or I need help you know but anyways um, through Orpha we've raised a hundred and fifteen thousand we want to raise a hundred and fifteen thousand dollars to help 115 kids uh, for this upcoming school year um, we've impacted 575 children so far so yeah, um, I think through this reaching out to my network and catching up with people and asking for donations, I, I realized that it we're all in this together. And despite a pandemic, you know, there's a lot of good going on in the world. Um, like just within my own company, LinkedIn was able to, uh, I was able to donate $1,585 through volunteer hours. Um, so that's been super rewarding. And yeah, I, I think it's been a, a really cool experience. Um, thank you, Zip, and Jackie, and Suki, and um, Na, and Mar Marguerite, Vicky, Dan, Anna, and Tony, and Victor for your donations this year. I really appreciate you. And yeah, if, you, if, any, if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Cheers.